Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy Fantastic. And I'm Trent, and this is our video on the ADEV setup. So Jimmy will talk about the setup for a little bit, and then I'm going to try and score a two turn against him uh, using this setup. Glorious, yeah. Thank you. So this is the ADEV setup, and he, it's named after Arrested Development, the guy who created it, who is a very good coach and very, very observant on Fumble. He's, he's got an encyclopedic knowledge of every Blood Bowl game ever played on Fumble, basically. And this is what he invented specifically for necromantic teams. Um, it can be used for other teams, if depending on like how you've developed your players. But the key points are these flesh golems are like so important to the team. And he has them here in the guard, white in the middle, and it's really hard to like blitz the flesh golems here. And obviously you can't blitz these three. And the wolves are super fast and reactive. Um, it doesn't do very well, you know, with a blitz or something. It's it's not super um, disruptive out of the gate. But it's the main purpose is to make the center super difficult to break through. And it's really good at reacting either way. Now, it's probably not going to be reactive enough against a human team in two turns. And, you know, you wouldn't use this in two turns. You would obviously be putting your flesh golems on the sidelines here to stop them breaking down the side of the chevrons, probably. But for, for most drives, it's, it's just really good. It, it just means that they, your opponent basically has to blitz a zombie. And, and then, you know, if, if they pile down one side, you just swarm them and, and shut them down. So, yeah, this is not the best advert for the air dev setup. But it is a good setup, so <laughs> trust it's me. Great content. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Trust me. Trust me. It's really good normally, but uh, you know it might be able to react. So uh, right, let's let's try. Well, I have learned from our previous videos and set up so that I can just go straight down the side. Yes. Yeah. That is. That is why this can be pretty terrible <laughs> against a two turn, but. <laughs> yes, if if this was like, you know, five turns or something, even a five turn drive, um, if I can make you score in two turns, that's a win, right? Because then I can I can go back yep. and score in three, so. But yeah, I mean, this does seed so much, like it seeds even more space than a rule of five setup. It's, it's, it's unbelievable how much it gives you. But it does, you know, and you could use this like, say, with Chaos, if you've got, uh, say, four Chaos Warriors here, like really good Chaos Warriors. And two really good beastmen, like say a killer and a carrier, or two killers. Oh. Wow! <laughs> Boy, howdy, that was a that starting was off a, strong. Yeah, that was a big double skull. So yeah, there's teams that can use it, um, and it's like it, essentially it, it basically protects six players very well. You went quiet and it's scaring me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was thinking about how the hell I'm going to do it. Silently judging. Silently just judging me like, oh, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was... uh, oh, that is bad because I didn't. I should have put my catcher one more forward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I mean, this is still going to be really hard to deal with. Yeah. Um probably just going to do something like that so it makes it harder to blitz that <laughs> front catcher. Yes, yeah, he could have got potentially served, right? By one of the wolves. Yeah, yeah. Like, they, they do have the surfing potential here, like, it's pretty hard to deal with them, but yeah, I mean, this is this is this really This should strong. hopefully be pretty difficult for you. Yeah, this is, this is like so hard. It's just, you know, so, so down so well Just for protected. funsies, I'm going to put another scoring threat on the other side. Nice, nice, I like that. It might as well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, always worth it to have that other outlet, um, especially when the other side's being given to you. Yep. So yeah, all I can really do here is try and, uh, try and screen, I guess. Which isn't, isn't fantastic. I... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I expected you to wrap around and blitz the one of the catchers. Yeah. But that that works too, actually. Yeah. Oof, got a GFI with him. It's 
So maybe it is worth sticking him on him. Because he did go very hard down the side. Like maybe he could have. Uh... But the thing is, if 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 you if you're one close, like if you're three away, then I could have blitzed and you know based with a flesh goal, and which can be very difficult to deal with. Mm -hmm. oh, I could roll. And there you go. Failed the G five. <laughs> Well, obviously, I can't try the second one, but that's not terrible. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> hey. I mean, I might as well try these, right? Desperation moves. <laughs> Mighty difficult. <laughs> okay, can't can't roll that many dice, <laughs> but it's worth trying those dice, right? No matter how unlikely yeah, yeah. they are, it could work. So yeah, there's there's some kind of. I mean, again, these wolves like so fast they were able to swing right over. I know that's troublesome. I'm not entirely sure. Like, I know getting one of them out of the way. I think just continuing straight. Down the sidelines, the best option here. It, it could well be, yeah. Because. Um, yeah, but it, even. Yeah. Probably is. It probably is, because you can't reliably move this flesh golem away to, like, do a handoff or something. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, these three have people on them, so. Yeah, I think. I think. This is tricky. It's. Tricky, tricky. My offense is terrible, as we've talked about. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't want to say yeah, but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like maybe, maybe you know, could have like tried to try to try and tag out um, a bit more. But I mean, I did get lucky with these zombie dodges, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I thought about doing what I like to do about spreading the line but yeah i mm. probably should have done that to give myself a little bit more options there instead of barreling down a sideline like that yeah well i mean that was good that that showed the kind of yeah. trap space aspect of it that if you do barrel down a sideline then the mobility of the wolves um lets them go over and, and gum that up and yeah that wasn't that was shut down pretty effectively so not not the worst video for the uh for the air dev setup at all in the end <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I struggled, that's for sure. <laughs> right, well, there you go, then. That's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.